As an athlete, I got a question for you. What do you do with your time? Serious question. Do you spend your time? Do you use your time? Or do you invest your time? I want to share with you today, not how I invest my time, but how one of the all-time great tennis players invests his time. Novak Djokovic, arguably one of the greatest tennis players of the last decade and even all time. He spent a number of weeks atop the world rankings. Uh, he comes from a war-ridden country, where as a young child, he spent his time sneaking out just to play tennis because his country was being bombed by planes all of the time. So he had to sneak out and find ways to play. He had to find time where he wasn't going to put his life in danger. So an excellent story of overcoming obstacles. But I want to share with you how Novak Djokovic, Novak Djokovic invests his time. And this is something that we can learn as athletes, as students, as parents, as teachers, as coaches. So how do you invest your time? It's not about spending your time. It's not about using your time. It's not even about managing your time. What is an investment? When you invest in something, you invest your time, you invest your money, you expect something in return. So if we can switch our mindset to investing our time instead of just managing it, instead of just using it, instead of just spending it, what happens when you spend something? You lose it. You spend your money, you're out of your money. You spend your time, you're out of your time. So when you start investing, you invest your money, you expect something in return. You invest your time, you would expect something in return. So I'm gonna show you how Novak Djokovic invests his time. He doesn't spend his time, he invests his time. So 11 months out of the year, right? 11 months. 11 months out of the year, this is his schedule. I'm not giving you a detailed schedule about what he does every single minute, every training exercise. I'm giving you guys a macro view so that you can start to understand and start to make adjustments to your schedule and the way that you invest your time. So 11 months out of the year, this is what he does. He spends the other month recovering and just giving his mind a break. He says he goes kayaking, he goes on hikes, things like that. He just keeps his body and his mind moving but training 11 months out of the year and we might not all have these capabilities but the the bigger question is how can we you i your teammates your coaches how can we learn from this so that we can invest our time so 11 months out of the year here, here's what he is he's awake 16 hours Awake 16 hours. This isn't a this isn't a video, some motivational video that tells you you have to grind and you have to you know wake up earlier than everyone and go to sleep past everyone and only get two or three hours of sleep. That's not what this is. This is about intelligent intelligently investing your time. So you're awake 16 hours of the day. You get your sleep, you get your recovery, so that your mind and your body are ready to go. So 16 hours awake. He says he invests 14 hours. 14 hours, he's, do, he's doing three things. He's investing his time into three separate categories. And this 14 hours is critical because he says this is the key. This 14 hours, how he frames this 14 hours, is the key to his constant success. So what he does, number one, he's playing. Simple enough, easy enough to understand, right? He's playing his, his sport. He's actually physically doing his sport. The second part is training. Simple enough, right? He's spending time playing. He's spending time training. Number three, eating. Very simple plan, right? A, B, C, all, this is simple stuff that you guys have all heard of before, right? Playing, training, and eating. 14 hours a day, seven days a week, 11 months out of the year. Is this difficult to do, playing your sport? No. Is this difficult to do? No. 
is this difficult to do? Is eating properly for your sport easy to do? So the trouble comes in one area. Doing this constantly. Disregard the fact that you only that you don't may not have 11 months. Disregard the fact that you might not have 14 hours a day. The key to what his success is is that he does this consistently, consistently, consistently. So he's consistently investing his time. He's not using his time. He's not investing his time two or three days out of the week. And then some other days he's using his time or he's spending his time doing other things. He's consistently investing his time on the basics. Is this rocket science right here? What I just showed you? No. And some people are going to argue, I don't have 14 hours a day to train. You don't need 14 hours a day to train, but you need consistency. You don't need to be, you don't need to do this 11 months out of the year. Maybe you play different sports. But the thing is, how are you investing this thing? This all critical factor, right? This is the number one factor. This is the only thing that we all get. You say, oh, I can't relate to Novak Djokovic because he's at the top of his game. He's playing professionally. He's getting paid thousands and millions of dollars every single match. I can't relate to Novak Djokovic. Well, I'll tell you what. This is exactly what Novak Djokovic has that you have too, that I have too. It's the same thing that Djokovic has that we all have. The only difference between him being number one and him not, and us doing what we do is the fact that he's investing his time differently than you or I. Now, do I want the same thing as Djokovic? No. Would it be cool? Would it be great to be the number one tennis player in the world? Yes. That's not my dream. That's not my goal. So I'm using this. I'm using this formula. I'm using this strategy. I'm using this plan in a different way because my goals, my outcomes are different than what Djokovic wants. But the thing is, he's investing this. Now, I'm a victim of wasting my time, spending my time, managing my time, but If this guy at the top, if Djokovic is at the top, if the guy at the top is going 100%, if the guy at the top is doing this, if the guy at the top is investing 14 hours a day, 11 months out of the year, seven days a week, that that puts things in perspective for me. And that should put things in perspective for you. Because if he's doing this consistently, his constant and unyielding preparation if he's doing this consistently and you or i aren't doing this consistently we can't expect we can't dream of we can't imagine being number one because of this beautiful thing of time we have to understand this thing and use it to our benefit so we have to start investing it instead of just spending it so anyways there's a little perspective of how Djokovic. Novak Djokovic, number one tennis player in the world multiple times throughout his career, invests his time. That's the big lesson. He invests his time. He doesn't spend his time. He doesn't waste his time. He doesn't just use his time. He invests his time. And that's a complete mindset shift. That's a complete mindset shift from just creating a to-do list and using your time, using your time wisely or managing your time. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with creating to-do lists or creating a schedule, but use it wisely. Use this thing wisely, invest it wisely. So if you guys like this information, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what comments, questions you have down below and what you guys are doing to invest your time. Tell me, tell me something unique that you're doing to invest your time. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'll reach back out to you. Anyways, I hope everyone's having an awesome day. Take care.